Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Sony Vegas Studio Platinum 11. How to do widescreen and do split screen videos so you have videos side by side. I have two videos here, and when you play them simultaneously side by side, just the top video is playing and the video below it isn't playing. So you're going to go to track motion and you're going to drag and pull wherever, however big you want the, that video to, to uh, be playing at. And you're going to go here, over here, and you're going to try to get them synced up as possible. So now when the video plays, they're both playing simultaneously and if you want to get this all the way against the other side like that and it's going to give you more of a widescreen look and feel you do have the ability with a circle to make your video if it's an upside down video for some reason you can make it horizontal you can make it landscape mode you have different options you have the option to make this full screen like one side where you have no black bars on top and bottom and to me, that just makes the video look a little stretched out, as I'll demonstrate right here. I don't know, for some reason, it makes the video a little stretched out when you do uh, two videos simultaneously. Then if you want to do widescreen mode, let's just say you're doing a dash camera video or a little skit or you're doing a review and you want it to look a little bit more like a cinematic video, you can go down here because this is the spot where I don't have anything edited yet. <clears throat> I'll take the video out. And as you see, okay, it's a regular 16 by 9 1080p video clip. You're going to go to the event pan and crop and you're going to crop the video a little bit. So you're going to have the black bars on top and bottom. So it's giving you that movie effect. And sometimes I like to go to the uh, effects, go to levels. And I will go here to where it says Studio RP or Studio RGB Computer RGB. And as you can see, it does give you a different effect. Because sometimes your video might be a little bit washed out or a little bit too bright. And I always use this effect right here because it darkens up the video a little bit and sometimes it makes your video look a little bit sharper and a little bit nicer it just depends on if you're if you if your video is super 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 blown out like really bright you can use this effect to darken it up and make it look a little bit more professional so there's a lot you can do with Sony Vegas and I always make these videos and tell you guys this is for the people who are using iMovie on the Mac or Windows Movie Maker. This is a step up for you guys. And it's a very good program. They do have a tutorial disc that comes with the Sony Vegas software that I bought on Amazon for 30 bucks, but I never installed it. I want to learn everything myself with trial and error. But like I said, that is a way to do full screen or widescreen video and also split screen so as you can see they're both split screen videos it just depends how much you want to cr uh, widen your video or if you want to make it like that and have the other video be full screen like that you can do that as well but for me it just looks a little bit wa um, stretched out when I do that so as always guys remember to rate even if you hate comment subscribe and as always I will definitely talk to you guys in another Sony Vegas to Sony Vegas Studio Platinum 11 tutorial